This is the MCTV Weekday Update. Welcome to the MCTV Wednesday News Update. I'm Kritzia Williams. Winter graduation is approaching and is this weekend between Friday and Saturday, Tech will have eight ceremonies in order of doctoral candidates, master candidates, and then undergraduates. On Friday, there will be ceremonies at 11 a.m., 2 p.m., 5 p.m., and 8 p.m., and on Saturday, 10 a.m., 1 p.m., 4 p.m., and 7 p.m. During these times, graduates will enter the arena and go directly to their seats until their name is called. They will do the monumental graduation walk, get their diploma, take a picture with President Skuvenik, and then walk out of the arena. For more information and updates, please visit commencement.ttu.edu. And congratulations to all the graduates. As the holiday break starts, COVID numbers continue. Texas Tech officials reported as of December 8th, a total number of cases between employees and students are 3,127. Along with the total reported, the total recovered sits at 2,993 and total active are 134. For more information, visit the TTU COVID-19 website at emergency.ttu.edu slash coronavirus. In the past fall semesters, if a student had a parking citation on campus, they could turn in a new toy for the Toys for Tots Foundation or a new unopened box of Pop-Tarts for the Food to Kids program to waive the citation. Unfortunately, these programs falls in line with numerous cancellations due to, due to the coronavirus. Not something we are wanting to have to do to suspend it because it, it's a program that benefits everyone. So there's, there's no reason, uh, like we wouldn't want to have it, but just with everything and all the question marks along with it, we're just going, we just had to suspend it. And that goes for the uh, Toys for Tickets along with Pop-Tarts for Tickets. Uncertainty between Texas Tech and its partners this fall played a big role in deciding on whether or not to have these fundraising opportunities. For more information and updates, please visit TTU's transportation and parking website and social media. Speaking of COVID numbers, this semester is not only made history for students, but has taken a toll on them as well. Everything at first was fabulous because it meant new opportunities. Um, having COVID show up was new opportunities. And so everyone was ready to get going. And then when everything was a stopping point and there was no progression with um, numbers and there was no progression with in-person meetings and in-person um, events, that's when I think it kind of went from opportunity to obstacle and it got very difficult. We were, I feel like me and my friends were, were struggling with mental health. So um, like some of the changes, like they kind of, yeah, they like it affected as far as like uh, the, of course the social aspect that you normally get when you're in class. Uh, I've had a lot of group projects um, that I had to really, you like had to adapt to instead of us meeting up in person, we have to meet over Zoom just to be safe uh, for not only our health, but everyone around us. Um, also just, you know, um, hanging out with friends, kind of minimize that uh, to just, you know, hanging out with just my very close roommates and maybe one or two friends outside of that. But like just kind of the social aspect is what really I feel like changed or impacted how the flow of the semester went, um, just because some of my classes were really uh, group project driven. Between quarantine, events being canceled, online and hybrid classes, and the ever-changing COVID numbers, students along with the rest of the world have been hit hard by COVID. With this week being finals, it feels like the home stretch is so close. Texas Tech's football team went out with a bang, winning their last game over the weekend against the Kansas Jayhawks. The Jayhawks lost 13 to 16, putting the Red Raiders record at four and six. Moving on to basketball, our men's team played and beat Gramlin State last Sunday, leaving the scoreboard at 81 to 40. 
That game put their record at 4-1 and one, heading into their next matchup against the Abilene Christian Wildcats today at 6 p.m. at the USA. If you can't make it, you can catch the action on ESPN+. Plus. Next to our Lady Raiders, who recently got beat by 3-0 Rice University, 81-62, putting the Lady Raiders at 2-1 on the season. Their next game was today against Angelo State at the USA. Well, that's it for today and this semester's MCTV News Update. Be sure to check TTU Hub for more information and news and tune in on February 1st for the MCTV Weekday Update. Until then, happy holidays. I'm Kritzia Williams.